Welcome to Fighting Stats, the ultimate channel for MMA fans who love statistics and betting breakdowns. I'm your host, Art C, and I'm here to get you ready for the upcoming UFC fights. In this series, I'll be watching tape and providing my real-time analysis on how I think the fights are going to go. I'll be watching for fighters' strengths, weaknesses, tendencies, and overall strategies, pairing that with Fighting Stats' exclusive UFC stats not available anywhere else to give you a prediction on how I think the fights are going to go and, ultimately, who's going to win. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome to Fighting Stats. Welcome back to Fighting Stats. I'm your host, Art C, and today we are taping the Leon Edwards side. He is fighting for the welterweight title uh, against champion Kamaru Usman. Uh, if you joined us in the last fight, he fought Nate Diaz. I ended up winning a unanimous decision. Things got dicey there in the last minute of that fight. Nate Diaz able to land a couple of one-twos, had Edwards rocked, uh, but uh, Edwards able to hold on, win a unanimous decision. Now, almost a year later, he fights Kamaru Usman for the welterweight belt. Kamaru Usman, the minus 345 favorite. Uh, Leon Edwards is going to be two inches taller, and uh, Edwards or Usman with the two inch reach advantage. So, uh, interesting to see how this fight plays out. Uh, thinking back on paper, um, I think I was all over Usman in this fight. Um, yeah. Coming into the fight, you think Usman would have had a good, uh, clear uh, grappling edge? Uh, you, you'd figure if Usman tried to go to the grappling early, he should find some success against a striker in Edwards. But, you know, we've seen in the couple of fights leading up to this fight, uh, Leon Edwards facing like um, Gunnar Nelson, Bilal Muhammad, um, you know, these, Rafael Dos Anjos. These guys are not bad grapplers, able to keep the fight standing, showed some good hips in those fights. So, uh, yeah, interesting to see how he does here against uh, Kamaru Usman. Kamaru Usman on, I believe, the tail end of his career. So this was before any of this talks about like his knees being out and like uh, retirement. So uh, worth noting that, again, he's undefeated up until this point. Uh, let's see how uh, this fight plays out here. Let's get this fight started. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> UFC 278 here. Round number one, Kamaru Usman in the black trunks. Leon Edwards in the red trunks. Edwards fighting from Southpaw. Usman is going to be fighting in Orthodox. I think that's going to be the case for majority of the fight. We saw Usman, or sorry, Edwards fight a little bit of Orthodox versus Diaz, but uh, I think that's going to change here. He's going to fight mainly Southpaw. Uh, I think that left leg kick that we saw him versus Diaz, not going to be much of a factor here uh, against a, an Orthodox fighter in Kamaru Usman. So let's see. It's harder to throw the left kick uh, against unorthodox because it's easier to get checked um we talked about edwards not really throwing that right kick too often so uh you know that's the kick you would sort of go to the lead uh low kick uh but edwards doesn't really throw it too much so here a little bit of feeling out process here standing out in kicking range uh, there's that left kick that we talked about another left kick there from edwards uh switches to southpaw or orthodox briefly here gonna circle off the cage go back to southpaw yep See if Usman throws any leg kicks. Kick another left kick from Edwards. <clears throat> switches to Orthodox uh, while circling off. Switch, switch, switch. Now when he switches, now it's Usman uh, on a takedown. Gets up on the hips there. Let me see this takedown because he was pretty deep on those hips. So. Throws a jab to fake, gets in on the leg, gets almost his hands clasps, a little bit high up. Edwards, nice defense. Nice right hooks there. Usman, one of the top grapplers uh, there. And again, he attempted to take, oh, nice trip there. Went for the neck, oh, gave up the position. Now it's Usman on top. So uh, worth noting that, again, Usman tried for the takedown, didn't get it. Edwards tries some like weird foot sweep and then ends up on bottom after he falls down. So now it's uh, Edwards on his back here. 
<coughs> that's pretty big too uh edwards here coming off of his back turns him a little bit gets his hips from under him gives up his back here stands up able to stand up uh, against the fence Usman throwing some knees here from the back He's going to try to break the grip of Usman, try to turn into him. Pushing the hands down. Elbows, elbows to the forearm. And Usman looking for a trip in the back. Honestly, good hips from Usman. Another good hip there. Tries to get up, back up against the fence there. Pushing that grip down below his waist. Trying to break it, but can't break the grip. Able to turn into him. Swim over, gets the head back in front of him. Now it's 50-50. Now he's double underhooks. Now it's, oh, it's Edwards with the trip right into full mount. He likes that trip. He has a couple of trips from clinch that he likes, and he's right into full mount. Now it's Usman on his back. Look at that. First fighter to take Kamara Usman down in 16 fights. He has that nasty trip that he likes to do uh, when he clinches there. He finally gets into double unders and then he will uh, he'll try to trip you there. Now he's mounting him. We're going to let uh, Usman roll to give up his back. Well, can he get two hooks in? We've seen all of his Edwards fights. Edwards cannot get two hooks in. Always gets just the one. <clears throat> Finding the grips here, gets one hook. Oh, again, Usman with the defensive body triangle. Oh, now he gets the body triangle, nice. Usman uh, relaxed here, taking some time here. Minute left to work though, Usman, not a lot of time. Leon Edwards on the chin. Body triangle on his back here. Edwards by sub, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pulls the neck over, tries to slink in the other hand. It's, oh, and it's still on the chin, not gonna get it. It's more of a neck crank there. Who's been doing the right things, defending the back. Two on one, defending the choke. Herb Dean looking at the gloves, fingers in the gloves, two on one still. Nice trip there. Almost turned them in. Okay. Nice round number one. You know, remember, Usman was in on the double leg there. Wasn't able to get the double leg. Then Edwards tries to throw some trip and then falls and gives up his back. No, not. Falls and gives up the ground. Then they get back up. Edwards fights to get back to standing. And it's Edwards with the body lock trip to right into mount, actually. So, yeah, that outside trip right into mount steps over. Usman tries to roll. He finds out he's in full mount. Now he's in trouble. Rolls, gives up his back, tries to get that other hook in. We have still not seen Leon Edwards get two hooks in. But he's across the back, he's in the body lock, that's fine. Now Usman has some work to do, down round one. Let's see, round number two, Kamaro Usman, the welterweight champion versus uh, Leon Edwards, the number two ranked welterweight. Left kick to the body. <clears throat> round two. Left hook there from Usman. Now they're both standing orthodox. Now it switches there. And another left kick from Southpaw. Inside low kick from uh, Edwards. Left hook, right hook, left hook from Edwards. Or sorry, Usman. Again, stepping in that left hook. Now it's Usman in on the clinch. Usman going to be a little bit stronger than some of the guys that Edwards has faced here. Uh, interesting to, interested to see how he does in the clinch against Usman. Over Edwards, now his knee in the clinch. 
Remember, uh, Edwards likes to use these uh, elbows in close, so let's look for those. Hooks to the body is Usman working that. Edwards covering up, circles off. Nice high guard. Now it's Edwards coming forward to the pressure. One, two, uppercut, right hand over the top, left hook to the body. Usman faking the level change. Lead kick from uh, Usman. Nice jab there from Edward. Oh, another eye poke. Leon Edwards with the eye poke. Oh, swipes the eye a little bit. You always get one free eye poke, so he's used his up already. One free eye poke, one groin shot. Uh, I don't know why fighters don't use it more often because these referees just, oh, warning, warning, I told you in the back, but it's still a warning. Oh, nice hard outside low kick from Usman. Orthodox versus Orthodox here. There's that left kick from Orthodox. Switches back to Southpaw. Hey, that's what I said, Joe Rogan. Nice knee in the clinch there. Now he's holding on the overhook. Gets the arm out, throws an elbow over the top of Usman. Nice jab there. 1-4 from Edwards lands. <coughs> nice kick to the body from Edwards, or from Usman. Edwards is trying to jab the body as well. Southpaw, Southpaw throws a knee up the middle is Edwards. Back to Orthodox. Another outside. So as soon as uh, Edwards steps into Orthodox, Usman is throwing that outside low kick there. But won't throw it when they're in Southpaw. And uh, Edwards won't throw the low kick either when Usman's in Orthodox. Oh, patented foot stops from Usman. Gonna look for some elbows over the top. Usman's dirty with their. Uh, Edwards has some nasty elbows here in the clinch. So if he can break off the wrists, it's more of a wrist control thing. He pushes off. Oh, now it's Edwards looking for a shot. Usman defends, looking for uh, an anaconda. Trying to get the back from the front. Edwards defending that lead leg, trying to not to get. Usman to circle off. Nice defense there from Edwards. Able to get the left arm up to prevent the take back take from Usman. There it is there. Now it's Edwards almost trying to get on top. Nice knee in the clinch again. So we haven't seen anybody really stuff the takedown game of uh, Usman here. Edwards doing a good job of defensively grappling. But it's Edwards or uh, Usman in, in close doing some damage here in round number two. Right hook, left hook to the body. Jab through the guard. Edwards backed himself up against the cage here. Let's see if he circles off. Now it's Usman again in a double leg. Gets the takedown. That was up against the fence. He's able to get the double leg easily. Gets him down. Now it's Edwards off of his back. Let's see what he does here with 20 seconds left. We've seen him before. Just really hold on. Um, I think it was against Dos Años. <clears throat> couple of nice shots from the body from Usman. So it's the issue. Is takedown defense is good, but once he's on his back, uh, we've seen him spend some time here on his back, not really able to get up a lot. Uh, so that looks like it's 1-1. Let's see, right hook, left hook, right uppercut. Oh, gets through the guard. Left hook around the guard. There's that outside low kick. Edwards leans forward a little bit and pops the jab. That four across. That lead leg again. 
<coughs> there it's here is the takedown. Able to get the takedown up against the fence. One one. Now it's a three round fight. Anybody's fight. Round number three. Usman in the black trunks. Edwards in the red trunks. Surprised not a lot of kicks in this position. Uh, or, you know, orthodox for Usman, Edwards left kick. Normally, those are the money kicks against uh, op uh, op opposing fighters. He should be kicking the body a lot. Ed Edwards should be. And Usman as well uh, should be kick throwing kicks to the body. There's that high kick. He goes high. Switches to orthodox is Edwards. Now they're both orthodox. I don't think he's going to throw much. He's going to switch, circle, and now he's back to southpaw. Oh, there's that inside low kick from Edwards. Trade jabs. Right hook. Nice jab there. Wow. <laughs> Usman tried to fake the takedown, and then Edwards didn't react, and then so Usman just stayed with the takedown. Now, how do you get to here? So he went here, grabbed the double leg, got behind the bum, able to pull those legs out. Now it's Usman on top, <laughs> round number three. All right, let's see if Edwards can get up from this position here. Turns up, gives up his back, and he's back up. Not bad, like, you know... I. He spent some time in round two off his back, but uh, able to get up here in round three. Joe Rogan bringing up the credentials of Kamara Usman and his wrestling credentials, uh, but you know what? Edwards is keeping his own in the in the in the grappling. Like, yeah, he got taken down, and the grappling was a big part of it. But we thought Usman would have had more success or better success with the grappling i know he he landed three i think the visual said three takedowns of seven uh, but that's still less than 50 percent takedowns and again uh usman one of the top grapplers in the division edwards able to pummel get face him back in <laughs> throws an elbow there now it's usman coming back it's the striking of usman's that's uh that's setting him apart uh, it's not the grappling that we, we thought sort of coming in. 1-2 there. Now they're clinching. Edwards looking like he's slowing down a little bit from the grappling exchanges. Right and left elbows. Right elbow over the top from Usman. Again in on a double leg. Gets the double leg. Gets the takedown. But is he able to hold him here? Usman's trying to get that leg from back under him. He's going to try to wall walk to get back up. Usman's trying to take the back, gets one hook in. Two minutes left in the round. Let's see if he spends the next two minutes off of his back here. Usman controlling the uh, right wrist of uh, Edwards, keeping it flat on the ground. He's going to want to use that hand to post, uh, but two on one on the post hand. Edwards using it as the elbow to post. Edwards breathing a little bit hard, now carrying the weight of Usman here in round number three. Minute 30 left in the round. Again, two on one in that far arm there. Edwards has no no choice but to post with the left hand, trying to keep him elevated a little bit. A little bit of a stalemate here. That's one with the hands in the glove. Now it's Edwards. Yeah, so he gets the takedown, but not able to do much with it here. Trying to step over, uh, get this position like Khabib likes to get, step into mount, but not able to get it here. And on the neck. There's like a front choke guillotine here. No, steps over into mount now. 30 seconds left. 
stepping over, some shots, some shots to the body. Usman able to wear, put his weight on Edwards, make him carry his weight here for the last two minutes of the round. Even though he wasn't able to do a ton with it, uh, it's it's more taxing on the cardio and on the neck here. Uh, Edwards a little bit crunched over, uncomfortable position. Gets up now with two seconds left, eats a big left hook there. So Usman's up two rounds to one. Stares him down. Edwards a little bit mentally broken. So Leon found some success in round one there with the takedown. And then the next two rounds, uh, Usman finding more success. Round number four. Well, this fight is at altitude, I guess. Worth noting that. On Utah. Okay, yep. Yeah. Leon with the left kick there. Stands in orthodox now. Southpaw to orthodox. He shows orthodox, but doesn't really strike from orthodox. Loads up on that right uh, or that left hook, misses. <coughs> There's that left kick, steps into orthodox. <coughs> when. Uh, Edwards in orthodox, uh, Usman will throw that right kick. Now it's Edwards getting the back here. We've seen this position a couple of times. Gets one hook in again. Looks to remove the other thing. Now it hooks on the other side. <coughs> Looking him to, to get him down to the ground. Grabbing the fence, Usman, another more grabbing the fence, more grabbing the fence. Punches here. So now it's Edwards trying to make Usman carry his weight a little bit. <clears throat> Edwards trying to drag Usman down to the ground, unable to do so. Breaks off, lets him go. One, two. Now it's Usman in on a double leg. Uh, gets the takedown up against the fence. So every time uh, Usman has gotten the takedown, it's been a double leg. And it's been uh, up against the fence. Uh, nothing in the middle of the cage. It's more about Usman uh, or Edwards trying to defend. And then Edward, Usman is the one ducking under, getting the hands clasped. And then able to get the takedown. <clears throat> Usman's here in uh, full guard here, still working the top game. Right hooks to the body. The Edwards corner is the best. If you can go back and like watch the, his corner commentary, his speech in between the, at the end of this round. I'll leave it actually. We'll listen to it together. Leon looking to butt scoot using the cage to wall walk. Got his feet from under him. Now it's uh, Usman on the back. Minute 50 left. <clears throat> so yeah, even though it doesn't look like Usman is doing anything, Usman has all of his weight on Edward's back. Uh, it's taxing to carry that amount of weight on the back. But Edward's still able to stand up here with a minute 30 left in the round. Trying to hand fight or break the grip. I think Usman's a little bit stronger uh, with the grip. Uh, grip strength. Nice knees to the behind from Usman. And again, uh, Joe Rogan talked about how decorated Usman is in the grappling. But uh, 
Edwards, I want to say, is holding his own first striker. Again, he's not a high-level wrestler either, but he's able to get the fight standing. He's able to defend, not get himself into bad positions, right? Here it is again where up against the cage, Usman gets the takedown double leg, but it's 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 the forward pressure of Usman. Oh, he used that fence badly to get up. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> Edwards with a blatant fence grab to get back up and then uh, Herb Dean puts him back down into the position with 40 seconds left at least he didn't take a point for the fence grab now Edwards back up to his feet Usman trying to these knees from behind now breaks the grip now it's Usman coming in throwing some bombs here 10 seconds left in round four oof right hand over the top right uppercut right elbow left elbow Edwards looking for the corner all right round number five so uh, Usman's up three rounds to one here right uh, so Edwards is gonna need a finish uh, you know, I think Edwards is mentally broken here. Usman breathing hard, digging deep, trying to recover. Usman has his head down, or Edwards has his hand down. Stop feeling sorry for yourself, man. Let's go. And you know what's funny is that uh, we talked about it in round, round one. We said, you know, it's surprising that he's not throwing these kicks more. And especially orthodox versus southpaw, you figure that left kick is, you know, a weapon, but he's not throwing it too much. And I didn't hear much in the corner about the kick, but uh, let's keep watching. Southpaw versus orthodox, right? I feel like Leon, and again, he likes the left kick, and now he switches to orthodox. And when he switches to orthodox, Usman's going to pop that re uh, rear low kick, switches back to southpaw. Nice job there from Usman. And, okay, so, again, Edwards is down 3-1, and he has to know that he's down. The corner's been in his ear the whole time. He hasn't changed anything, though, yet in round number five, okay? Now, he's not coming forward. He's not changing anything up. He's just content with standing here on the outside, not really throwing any volume. <coughs> Steps forward into orthodox, tries the left hook. Pops a jab from Orthodox and switches back to Southpaw. Even there, look, Ed, Edwards, uh, Usman has his head ducked. We saw in the Nate Diaz fight where he throws the 1 2 on the counter here. Just, uh, Edwards not throwing anything. Usman in on a leg, gets the takedown, Edwards pops back up. Able to spin into him. Uh, Usman in on the clinch here, throwing some clinches, some knees. Edwards with the overhook. Crowd getting restless. Usman able to push a pace here for five rounds. Again, this is at altitude. Uh, foot stomps from Usman. Again with the hands in the gloves, fingers in the gloves. Usman trying to get a double leg here. A little bit uh, sprawl there. Can't get his feet or hands together with the underhook there. Oh, it's Herb Dean breaking them up. 
Two minutes, 30 seconds left in round number five. Now it's Edwards coming for it. Come on, Edwards. You got to do something. <clears throat> Southpaw versus Orthodox. There's that left kick to the body. Now he stands in Orthodox. One, two. Back to Southpaw. Another kick to the body. A low kick. I wonder if this has anything to do with it. Here's a kick. Uh, it's close. It's on the belt line. It probably grazes there. Yeah. So I wonder how uh, mentally in your head you just took a low blow. Uh, you know, Edwards, is, is he going to go back to that kick? Still stands in southpaw. Here's Usman throwing the right kick. Where were these kicks all fight? Now Usman goes low, or Edwards goes low, switches to orthodox, back to southpaw. Maybe he is setting it up. 90 seconds left in round number five. Yeah, gotta go, Edwards. Switches back to orthodox. Switches back to southpaw. Still nothing. No volume. No no forward pressure here. Ducking under. Ducking under. Inside low kick again from Ed Edwards. There's more kicks than he's thrown all fight. One minute left. Throws it up high. The first time he goes high, he lands it. Leon Edwards by head kick in southpaw. We talked about it all fight. He never threw the left high kick. In southpaw versus north, it's such a weapon. You're open to that side in orthodox. And you see if, if Usman is ducking to the right side, he's going to be ducking right into the high kick. I don't know why he didn't throw it more. All right, let's see some replays here. He throws the jab, and Usman tries to go roll to the right, and he gets caught with the left kick. Usman goes out cold. He fades the jab, get Usman ducking to the right there. Boop! He got caught. We saw it once, I think in the last fight against Nate Diaz, he threw that same combo. But uh, again, he didn't. That was the first high kick he threw all fight. Usman went out cold. Ducked under and caught him. All right, um, what did we learn from this fight? Um, again, the talks coming into this fight, again, I was heavy on Usman in this fight. Bad, bad sour taste in my mouth, but uh, nonetheless, uh, we saw in round one, Usman tried to go for the double leg, not able to get it. Um, both, when, both fighters were fresh. Uh, they go back to standing. Then uh, Edwards tries to throw some weird kick, falls off balance, and ends up on his back. <clears throat> then... Um, Usman, the top level grappler, not able to keep Edwards down. Edwards is able to pop back up, get up to his feet, get the clinch, get double underhooks in the clinch, and then outside trip from Edwards right into mount. And then ends up the round one with uh, Leon Edwards on top. Then Usman has to come back and win rounds two, three, and four. Again, winning those rounds mostly from the strikes. It's not from the takedowns. I know Edwards or Leon, uh, sorry, Usman probably ends up with four or five takedowns in that fight. A couple of them on the cage, double legs, uh, ducks under, uh, able to get to the double legs. But I never found that Usman was able to do anything with those takedowns. Able to control him, yes. Able to wear on his back, yes. Um, but never had Edwards close to getting finished. Never had him in compromising positions. Wasn't even really able to get his back. Edwards was the one that was on Usman's back, had the body triangle close to the rear naked choke. But... Uh, I think it's telling uh, just the takedown defense that we've seen in the buildup to this fight. Uh, I know, again, he got taken down, uh, spent some time on his back. So just keeping in mind, again, high, how high level Usman is. Again, this is when he's still shooting some takedowns. We thought he would have success with the takedowns, which he did. Uh, but yeah, Edwards wins the welterweight championship fight here. Um, and now I think the rematch, they take some time off. He recovers. And so join us next time when the we see the rematch. Usman versus Leon Edwards 3. We see if anything changes in that fight, and uh, we'll see how that fight plays out.
But again, my name is Artsy. This is Fighting Stats. I hope you enjoyed the show. Let me know below in the comments how I did and what you would like to see going forward. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe, and you'll get notified anytime we put out new content. Again, my name is Art C. You can follow me on Twitter at, at Mr. Electrocute. This is Fighting Stats, the ultimate source for exclusive and in-depth MMA statistics and best bets. We'll see you guys at the window.